Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here. Thanks for stopping by to check out our video review of the hot new Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So before we run through the specs of the device, let me just show you what it comes with really quickly. You have a standard USB charger here, but the charging cable is of the USB 3 variety. I'll show you why in just a sec. You have some additional tips for the S Pen. We have the phone itself, obviously, a user's manual, and a quick start guide. If you ask me, the Galaxy Note 3 is an absolutely beautiful device. It looks much like the Note 2, but it got the uh, Galaxy S4 treatment. That's to say it's not much bigger than the Note 2, but it has a bigger screen, higher res screen, and smaller bezels. So if you take a look at the bottom here, you'll see a USB 3 charging port. It can take standard micro USB, but also the USB 3 cable I showed you earlier. Here's the S Pen slot. This is a speaker. There's a microphone port right there. On this side of the device, you have the volume rocker. On the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone slash mic jack, another microphone, an IR emitter, and on this side is the power button. On the back, you'll see a 13 megapixel camera with an LED flash right there. The back has a new sort of textured finish that feels like leather, but it is still plastic like older devices. The screen is a 5.7 inch display with a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080. Um, brightness is very nice, saturation somewhat oversaturated like other Samsung Super AMOLED screens, but very nice nonetheless. In our experience, the Galaxy Note 3's performance is nothing short of exceptional. Inside the device is a 2.3 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 800 SoC with Adreno 330 graphics that's paired to 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage, though that can be expanded with a micro SD card slot. It's got LTE support, 802.11 A, B, G, N, and A, C. Um, so if you have one of the fastest uh, 802.11 AC routers, you can connect to it at top speed with the device. It's also got Bluetooth 4.0, and it's running the latest version of Android, version 4.3 Jelly Bean. Speaking of the Note 3's performance, let me just bring up a browser quickly. So here's the hot hardware homepage. As you can see, scrolling is super smooth as is pinching and zooming. Rendering is very quick. There is no visual anomalies. The, the phone really is fast for browsing the web. Um, it also has many of the same features as the Galaxy S4. On the front of the device is a infrared sensor and proximity sensor next to the two megapixel front facing webcam. And those can be used to control the device in apps that support it without ever touching the screen. So here's the image gallery and I can just wave my fingers in front of the phone and as you can see it is browsing right through images. And it's pretty accurate and fast too. Once you get used to it you can get really quick at this. But one of the main draws of the Galaxy Note 3 is the S Pen. So I already pulled it out of the bottom. When you pop the S Pen out of the Note 3 the air command window will open up. That's what it looks like. One of the coolest things it can do is just simple multitasking. Click that box there, draw something on the screen, and then pick an app. So I'll pick calculator, and bang, there's the calculator right on the screen. You can do what you have to do and close it without affecting anything else. Another cool feature is to draw on the screen. So if I, let's say I capture a screenshot here. Let's just do this guy right here. We'll capture a screenshot. I can then annotate it like, yay drawing whatever you get the idea but then you can you can save it and then share that out it's pretty useful say if you find something on a web page you just want to circle it and send just that part off to somebody the the s pen some people think it's a gimmick it absolutely is not it gives you much finer grain control over any kind of drawing apps um, just a much finer resolution than you can attain with your finger the Galaxy Note 3 has essentially the same camera setup as the Galaxy S4, which came before it. As we mentioned, there's a 13 megapixel sensor on the phone. It does have an LED flash on the back as well. Uh, it takes really good shots and can capture 1080p video too. And like the S4, you have this simple mode button. You click it and you have a ton of different modes for capturing photos. Um, you have beauty face, which will enhance facial features when taking portraits. 
vest photo, which will capture basically the sharpest photo in a group, so you don't have to manually click through them. Best face for capturing the best picture of each person's face in a burst shot of images. You have sound and shot, drama shot, animated photos. You can take HDR. Um, there's also a panorama mode, obviously. The eraser mode's pretty cool. This will take a a burst of photos, and if somebody walks into the background on a shot, it'll essentially erase that person from the background. It's a pretty cool feature. We should also point out that the volume rocker can be used for zooming, as you can see here. You can also program that to work as the shutter. You have full control over the camera setup on the Note 3. The home screens on the Galaxy Note 3 are surprisingly clean right out of the box. So the main home screen just has the weather app, a Google search widget and a few shortcuts. That home screen is completely blank. There's one more here with a Flipboard shortcut, Facebook shortcut, and a few app shortcuts. But other than that, there's uh, not much else out of the box. Of course, it's not a big deal because it's fully customizable anyway. In terms of pre-installed apps, again, the phone is not too loaded up out of the box. It's pretty cool. This is the AT&T version of the phone, so there's a few AT&T proprietary apps. You have also all of the common Google apps, Gmail, Google settings, Google Maps, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's also some proprietary Samsung apps. There's the S Health app for linking to some of the health-related accessories that came out with the S4. You have S Note for taking notes. You have S Translator, which is really cool because it can do OCR. You could, say, snap an image of a menu while you're in a foreign country, and it will translate that image. You have S Voice for controlling the phone the Samsung App Hub, and the Samsung Hub. There's also Samsung Link, and that's about it. The phone is not too cluttered up. It seems that uh, Samsung's done a little bit better job with the Note 3 in terms of bloatware. We'd also like to quickly show you inside the Note 3. Uh, like most other Samsung smartphones, the back is removable. Just pops right off. And inside the Note 3 is an absolutely gargantuan uh, 32 milliamp hour, 3.8 volt lithium ion battery. We found battery life to be somewhat of a mixed bag. The SOC is very fast in this phone, so if you're wailing on it, say running a game or running benchmarks that are constantly whacking the CPU at top speed, you can kill the battery fairly quickly. But in general use, where the phone's able to throttle up and down, I had no problem going almost two full days with fairly moderate use, checking email, browsing the web, squeezing in a game of uh, Candy Crush here and there. I do not think anyone will be unhappy with battery life on the Note 3. Um, right up here is the SIM card slot, and you probably can't see it because it's embossed in black, but the micro SD card slot is right under there. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. If you want the full scoop with more details and benchmarks, check out the full review at hothardware.com, and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.